are out on my boat today. Rockfish opener 2023. We got Melissa up there hiding behind Ben. There's Ben and Jimmy. But yeah, the plan is just to shoot um, to a couple of local spots. We got some good weather. It's supposed to blow a little bit this afternoon, but we got a few hours before that happens to go try and catch some rockfish. Obviously, they moved it back to April 1st. Normally, it used to be March 1st. So that extra month has really uh, made it seem like we haven't been out on the boat in a long time. Also, we had a gnarly, gnarly winter, and I guess early spring. Uh, as far as the weather is concerned, lots of storms, rain, wind, all the fun stuff. So just like uh, the first real, real trip of the season, hopefully we find some biting fish. <laughs> all right, we're just metering around. We're going to make a few mackerel, try to make a few mackerel. Um, it's always good to have live bait, especially if you're going to try to drop down and catch some lingcod or a big sheephead. Look who it is, look who it is. Look, we got Lauren and Nick out here catching rockfish in the kayaks. Nice. Alright. Do it again. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to push you off the back of the pack. Good luck! <laughs> just break her out. Don't yeah, just <laughs> try to capsize her. Good. Thanks for the beer! Oh. I can't reach it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright, so we just got to the first spot after running into Nick and Lauren. Melissa, are you going to drop first? Um, Catch the first rockfish? Yeah, I will. Uh, <laughs> we're in 315 feet of water. Jimmy's going to try. Are you doing squid first, Jimmy? Yeah, maybe. I'm going to strip up mackerel because I got bit last time over the squid. So I'm going to cut up some mackerel. Jimmy's going to drop squid and see what they want. Oh, there's one. Got a biter. Might have gotten dropped there, Jimmy. Oh, like this one's fighting like a white fish, though. First bite of the day, baby. Got a lot of head shakes. Definitely feels like a white fish. That's because it is. <laughs> white fish. White fish. Whoa. Poor man's yellowtail. Two white fish. You got one too? That one's <laughs> big enough to keep, dude. They're actually really good. Mine's a little small. Ben's is. Yeah, that size are bigger, I say keep. You definitely gotta watch out for the gill plates on these guys. They are razor sharp. White bite. Oop. We'll let that one go, but Ben's can go in the bag. Catfish? Catfish. Back go. on down. Came back for it. I don't think that's a white fish. I'm not feeling head shakes. What do you got, Melissa? Okay. <laughs> this is the technique right here. You gotta put put the rod on the knee. Just turn yeah, the handle. Down, yeah. I got smoke. The white fish is hitting it in the face. Oh, oh, we got a double. Look at that. Yeah, but did we all get stars? Look at this one. Up. Oh, that's a good one. There we, we go. go. You just don't want to grab them by the goose. Okay. Those are sharp. We'll keep yeah. this one. That one's definitely edible. I'll descend to this guy here. He's a little small. Mine feels decent. Okay. Mine feels decent. No, 
First red. <laughs> nice one. Was heavy. What do we got over here, Melissa? Look at that technique. Okay. Unnotched. Oh, did it pop off? Oh no. I saw some head shakes. There we go. Dang, Melissa with the double white fish. That top one's a keeper size one. You guys are, yeah, like I said, you're gonna be very surprised how delicious these actually are. Yeah, exactly. That is there we go. Oh, no. oh, no. That was a, just a tail of mackerel, dude. Just a tail of the mackerel? Okay, no, mackerel. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Do a whole squid? Yeah. What do you got there, Jimmy? Red. Little red. That'll keep oh, like, tail, on the mackerel red. tail. Nice one, man. So it seems like the whitefish are definitely eating the squid. Just ask Melissa. Oh, was it mackerel also? Okay, she just has the whitefish cut. It's just a mix, mix bag of mix everything. Bag. Found the rock. That's true. Good point. Okay, so Look at that on the old frozen mackerel tail. Oh, yeah. 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 Jimmy! Oh, yeah. Didn't even say you were a bit. Being all quiet over here. Time's gotta be quiet. Oh. Nice, dude. You put us on this spot. Good choice. Hold okay. that bad boy up. <coughs> oh god. He's dying. He's been snacking on too much jerky. Too much jerky. It's a nice red. Dude. Such pretty fish. And delicious. You said it's your favorite fish, Melissa? Yes. How absolutely. you doing? Are you going to go whole squid? I got four boxes oh, of that stuff. Oh man, he's going whole squid. Is it the elusive sheep head that we haven't caught yet today? Probably not. You don't think so? Look at that hair just majestically flowing in the wind. Unreal. Nice red. Jimmy's coming in clutch. Was that on the whole squid? Whole squid, baby. Whole squid. Nice one. Tagged it. Good job, dude. Thanks, dude. One of these days I'll get good at taking the hooks out. Not today. Today's not that day. There we go. There we go. Nice one. Get him with the others. Fish Jesus. Coming in. Oh. Coming in clutch with another red. Oh. Rob's doubled over. What do we got here? Feel decent. Ben's working on his inner Florida style over here. <laughs> Something different. You got Atlanta bluefin on that this year. Except, except you can't use the rail at all. No, definitely not. <laughs> because the line's there. <laughs> Turn it upside down. <laughs> Turn it upside down, switch sides on those. Yeah. <laughs> That wind is picking up. Oh, I see red. I see red. Oh, dude, big all star. -y. Dude. Nice one. On a squid head? Yeah. Squid head. That's a nice starry. Oh, that trolling motor's doing work. Nice. There we go. See, that was karma. I just let a little one go and we got a bigger, another starry. Yeah, she ate it. Ate it, yeah. Nice. Jeez, quite a few starry on this spot. <laughs> that hook set off the spinning rod is super funny. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
That one is actually a bite, not just Ben. Yeah. So that's good. So here's a little tip for you guys. If you're on a spot where there's a lot of whitefish and you're tired of catching whitefish, these little gulp uh, swimming mullets, the four inch in red, get smoked by the rockfish. All right, guys. That wind picked up quick. <laughs> Jimmy's reeling up quick. So we still have a long ride home and we don't want to get soaked because this boat is very wet. But that was a fun little opener slash shakedown trip. Boat ran good. Everything worked so far on the boat. All the electronics and stuff turned on. So that's always fun. But uh, Jake's going to come back in. Yeah, we see. <laughs> Knock on wood. There's no wood on the boat. But anyways. Shakedown trip went well, caught, caught some reds. Nowhere near our limit, but we did get some decent ones and a bunch of whitefish, so filled the freezers a little bit. Looking forward to some fish tacos. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. What was surprising is how many starry we actually caught off of this spot. A lot of them were, were very small and we descended them back down. But we did score, I think, four that were this size. So perfect eating size. Very delicious fish. But again, I just like to make that head cut there. Nice shallow cut right on the, on the back. Just to separate the skin. And then from there, Makes it really easy to just let that knife glide right over the bones. Slowly peel that back. Once I hit the, the spine in the center there, I'll poke the knife straight through, right below or behind the rib cage, and just cut back to the tail. And then right there, that fillet has been perfectly traced. And I leave it on, flip it over. That way, that fillet helps keep this fish perfectly flat. If I were to, to remove this fillet, fish kind of bends and I found for me personally it just makes it a little harder to get a nice clean cut on the other side. So same thing, head cut right there, shallow cut down the back. Trace it down to the tail and then from here both of those fillets are traced so I hold it from the tail Put the knife through and just work the knife down, break those rib bones and uh, pin bones and the fillet pops right off. The only thing you have to watch out for is now when you're moving the knife this direction, you're going against where these spines are pointing. So just watch your knuckles. Just make sure they're far enough back that they're not gonna tag those spines. And it just pops right off that easy. Flip it over, still attached to the tail so you have plenty of fish to hold onto while you're skinning it. like that and then from there you can cut off the belly you need that rib all right I'm gonna do the same thing with that vermilion so I'm just gonna run through it at my own pace here just to show you guys how quick you can actually do it play a fish using this method here it's obviously not as fast as the method that like deckhands use on the sport boats but they fillet a lot more fish than I do. This is just what I'm confident doing and I know I can get the, the most meat off of the fish. As as I can with my with my skill set. watching videos, watching pe other people fillet fish, taking bits and pieces of how they fillet their fish and what I like and don't like about about that, just making it your own. Obviously this, this technique doesn't work with big fish because you can't like hold them up in the air like that, but for rock fish and bass and stuff like that works great.
Boom, just like that. There's our red and our starry. All right, so I changed my mind. What I'm gonna do with the white fish is I'm gonna do a little taste test. So I've trimmed them to about the same size. So there's no way Rachel can tell which one's which. Obviously I know which one's which. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is just cook them super simple. We got garlic salt, black pepper, and I'm melting some butter. And we're just gonna grill these fish, these three little fillets here, with just the garlic salt, black pepper, and the butter. Very, very minimal, simple recipe. Got it on pretty high heat. Pretty thin fillet, so they should cook pretty quickly there. But I'm keeping an eye on which one's which. I gotta keep them in order. So. How's that smell, Rachel? Delicious. Glad I'm not the one flipping. Yeah. Obviously, just glancing at it, there's no way you can tell, like, just with the naked eye, which one's which. But fish one, there's two, fish three. I know which one is which. We'll let them cool down right there. We do have a little tartar sauce, but I think we should try them just plain first. We not a little tartar sauce. No, you gotta go. You gotta dig, you gotta dig in. Just the fingers. All right, fingies. I'm gonna eat this whole piece. I'm gonna do it by itself without a tartar sauce. The okay, first no time. tartar sauce. Okay, first one. Ooh. Here for it. It's good. Okay. Okay. I have like a palate cleanser. Yeah, do you want a palate cleanser? No, is it gonna affect it? It might. It's like so nice. Any difference between those two? Yes. Not huge in okay. my mind, but I do like this one more. Flavor, texture, anything? The texture is like pretty similar. This one's a little bit softer. Interesting. And you like that better? Yeah, but the taste is a little bit different, but like it is pretty close. It might just be the seasoning to be completely honest. I don't know, hold on. I can already tell this is the white fish. That's my favorite. You didn't even finish eating. It's my favorite, I could just already tell. Okay, that one is. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I think you nailed it, honestly. This one is softer, has more, has a lot of flavor. This one has a little more texture to it. Plus flavor. Same amount of flavor. This one is a little more firm, but a lot more dull of a flavor. They're all good. Well, there, there, you, <laughs> there you heard it. Red was number one for us. Starry number two. Whitefish number three. You made me. How is it with the tartar sauce? It's even better with the tartar sauce. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the tartar sauce, mm -hmm. but we're gonna dig in, finish that up. We got some rice cooking right now. We're gonna make some tacos later. That's another video. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Please click that button right now. Like the video, leave some comments down below. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks so much. See you later.